and welcome in everyone to RedRaiders.com. I'm Zach Long. Texas Tech continuing to prepare for Kansas this week for the old homecoming game on Saturday. And we thought today we'd take a little step away from the negativity that we usually spew on this show and talk about some of the positives around Tech football. Because frankly, it's easy to kick a team when they're 2-4 and four and have done a lot of bad things. But on Saturday, despite a heartbreaking loss to West Virginia, they showed some signs of a football team that could win a few games down the stretch. So here's a few things to look forward to with Tech football. Number one, Devin Lauderdale. Fantastic day early on. Showed why he was such a high-level recruit. Two speed plays, two touchdowns. Hopefully that is a young man who will continue to make a mark for Texas Tech and give them another lethal threat along with Jakeem Grant in the receiving game. Only good things can happen when you have two people with that level of speed meandering around defensive backfields. Number two, DeAndre Washington. The young man has had a tough time at Texas Tech, battled back from an injury, took a redshirt year, and it's fantastic to see DeAndre Washington running at the level that he is right now. He is a big weapon for Texas Tech. The more they run the ball, the more the Red Raiders are going to be successful. You saw a nice game out of him on Saturday. Hopefully that continues against the University of Kansas on Saturday. Number three, the Tech defense. We have taken some punches at the Texas Tech defense, but folks, they are getting better. Mike Smith is doing a good job as their defensive coordinator on an interim basis. They made some nice plays on Saturday. They gave the offense a chance to put that game away, albeit for a fourth quarter of the last six minutes. The Tech defense looked like a team that could put the Red Raiders in a position to win. They got a turnover. They had some nice play, and hey, the young cornerbacks and defensive backs are getting better. If you don't respect what Keenan Ward does, then I can't help you. That was a big time player on Saturday. Hopefully the Tech defense continues building on that youth and folks, it's going to pay off in the future. Don't get too down on the defense. They're going to be okay at some point in time. Finally, how about Dylan Cantrell, who I swear to God is probably trying to take up permanent residence in the Sports Center top 10. Fantastic catch. I don't know how he made it on Saturday. Comes down on his head. First time I've seen someone use their head as a way to establish possession and bounce. He's a big time player. If he can clean up some of his other things, blocking and route running, he's going to be on the field more and a big time threat for Davis Webb because he can pretty much out jump any defensive back in the Big 12 Conference. I know I just said a mouthful, but folks, those are things to be encouraged about with Texas Tech. Hopefully they can clean it up this week. Get a win over Kansas, and then a few things have to go their way down the stretch. A team could, that could still go to a bowl game. I know, I sound nuts saying that. It still could happen. They could end up with at least a 500 record, which would be a huge accomplishment for the way this team has played early in the season. So hopefully that brightens your week just a little bit. We'll get back into more about the Kansas game as the days progress. For now, though, we're going to bid you farewell. I'm Zach Long, and you're on RedRaiders.com.